gotta get RJ over here. Come here, Carl. We gotta get RJ. <laughs> <coughs> okay, this uh, is the substitute RJ. And this RJ. is my replacement. Yep. Yeah, well, he's had his issues. So, what's his newest thing? He gets on everything. He's a thief. Mm -hmm. Does he have a wart right here? Okay, dude. It's a wart. Okay. You have a wart. You're a warty dog. He ate a toad, probably. Put him down and let's go. Come on. Hello, Hi. welcome to the Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Hi, I'm Marjorie. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Here you go. Oh, I guess I don't have to start it. It's already started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wanting to get this show on the road and you're messing around. What's new? I, I got my yogurt this morning. I got some okay. more cookies and a drink. So I've got yogurt and a little Pepsi. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. All right. What now? You ready to do in the chapel? That's where we always start. Sure. All right. Comes from Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. Well, my picture will work. I know. All right. We're going to start reading. For every Three. For everything is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to, a be, time born. to be born and a time to die. A time to to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, time to mourn, a time to dance, time to cast away stone and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from Embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sew. So. A time to tear and a time to sew. Oh, a time to tear and a time to sew. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. So, pretty much there's a time for everything, and the point of our thing is that this week we had things happen that we don't understand why, but we know that it's all in God's time. So, alright, we're just going to go from there in the barn stalls. I don't even know if we covered the mushrooms last year, last week. No, because that was what? Monday, Tuesday. Carl Monday. got sick. Carl got sick. He got high. That's you. I think he got sick. We don't know what he got into. He got into something. And all the vet can say is he probably ingested something. Yeah. Mom thinks he ate mushrooms. Okay. Thinks he got high on mushrooms. Okay, in Oklahoma right now. Everyone I've talked to has said the mushrooms are crazy. Down by the pond, there's these red and orange ones. Up here by the house, there's these big uh, smurf mushrooms. Smurf. Well, they look like big white smurf houses. Right? Anyway, so our dad had a normal day with Carl. Took him out to play while he roped. Brought him back in, put him up, and went to the barn to do some things. And by the time, and you said that was what, 3.30? Oh, yeah, by the time I got home, about 4.30, quarter to 5, <coughs> Carl was standing up when I came in the door. And then all of a sudden, he puked, got real wobbly, and fell over. And it kind of got worse from there, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So... RJ slept, we put him in a kennel, got him to quit throwing up, he got pain meds, he got saline solution because he was throwing up so much so fast that he was dehydrating, just right there, he couldn't, he'd drink water, pick it up, drink water, pick it up, so he got saline solution under his skin, um, that's our answer to IV because we can't hit the vein wall. you know, I mean, I'm not going to shave him to find his veins, so, um, just a uh, bubble under the skin, kept him hydrated, um, he broke out in fever, like you could visibly see him shaking from cold. Moose, get down! Uh, 
sorry. Um, you can see him visibly shaking like with fever cold. Uh, couldn't control, had no fine motor skills, no nothing. His head literally was going like this, even when you could hold it. Yeah. Um, I was going to see what it looked like to do that. You know, the players do that. So you got to see with cookies. Quit. Okay. Good, very good though. Like they yeah. just like they look like 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 a That's because the poker chips are smaller. They can get more in their hand. Okay. Anyway, so um. Let me eat some of this cookie and try to. Anyway, so RJ slept with his hand. I set him up a kennel and had him in the kennel all night long upstairs. And I got up periodically and checked him. And RJ had his hand in the kennel like most of the night, huh? Mm -hmm. Just keeping his head from bobbing and keeping He uh, kicked it his stomach like it hurt and stuff. So we just kept him as comfortable as possible. Is after he got the, the pain. Size? No, after he got the pain medication. Smaller. He calmed down. Mm -hmm. It's about the size, just one of those silver dollars. There ain't even much cookie left. I know. Do that again. There you go. Alright, I gotta trim up her. Hey, hey, I need a longer template. No, come on. Okay, so anyway, Carl, at midnight when I got up and checked him, he could kind of hold his head up, and he was still wobbly. Um, but I didn't even ask him to stand up. I just kind of petted on him, went to pee, and went back to bed. He was still laying there and holding his head up when I got up one other time. But at 6.30, when I finally got out of bed to start my day. No, I got up at 3. Went back in with his brother. Right after that oh, left. was it? Was it three? Yeah, I, don't it was three. I don't know. I don't know. Because I went back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I got up and I had come in the room and I said his name and he hops up out of the kennel and walks because we didn't close the kennel because he couldn't walk. And uh, he walks right over to me like nothing's happened, but he's still a little shaky. And I got RJ. I was like, RJ, look, he was fine. Um, the next couple of days. He was real shaky. He didn't eat as great. <coughs> he just, his head, you'd catch him sitting in the corner because he could balance himself. And his little head would still be going. You know. But now, as you saw from RJ's little video, he's fine. Yeah, you need to shave. <laughs> so, that happened. Yeah, let me um, my notes. Watch my notes. See if it... Okay. You're avoiding the next topic, aren't you? After that, what happened? Because it was days after uh, you were out riding, Ann. I found Nerf down. In the pasture. In the pasture. And he didn't want to get up. Um, we got him up. Got him back to the barn. And then he, he went down again. again. So, anyway, he, he never got back up. No. Didn't make it. So, not something. Those that follow on Facebook, I wrote a poem, but I can't read it to you. RJ, can you? Yeah, just if you can pull it up and get it right down, I can read it. Uh, in that, no, it's not in that one. Wrong poem. Oh. That's something else. Hang on, um, mom will find it. Oh, yeah. But anyway, while I pull this <coughs> up. Let me try some more my notes. Okay. And does that say the end right there? Yes. Okay. So I can't read it to you. So I mean, it is what it is. But Durf, for those that don't know, he's the one that had the bad blood infection when we first got him, and he spent. I don't know. How many months in the barn, son? Six or so. Oh. Alright. So this All right. is how I deal with things. And Mom writes poems. He was beautiful and full of life. As played and ran. As he played and ran. As he played and ran. 
She loved to watch him. He was, she was his biggest fan. His black mane and tail flowing like the wind as he raced to the fence to see his old friend. But life can be ungrateful and cruel. She knows that giving him her heart made her a fool. <clears throat> it happened without warning and soon sent her heart into mourning. But they had tried to save him, but soon the light in his eyes grew dim. They had done all they could do of a sure of a sure cure. Sure cure. No, no one knew. had a clue to read. Sorry, I'm not very good at reading. Her heart hurt as the end drew near, and the end result she had come to fear. One day is on the pasture grazing away, the next two is buried, and there he would stay. So. Where's me? Right there. Oh, there's me. So. Kind of says it all. So. Anyway, so that happened. Moving on. Anything else in the barn stalls? We still don't have today's cap. No. Well, I'm sure she has it. She's just not spitting it out. So, um, what's it do? Moose is carrying a pillow around. Yeah. And Wilbur wanted it, so we just stepped on it. Okay, so, back to this in the morning stalls. Anything else? But they still haven't given up her baby, right? Well, Nothing's looking like it's really bred for fall. I ate it all. We have here strawberry like banana. Strawberry banana, non fat yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yogurt. Yeah. Awesome. Yogurt. Yeah. I love yogurt. So anyway, um, all right. Anything else? Mending fences. Anything Carl can get off the bar, I've had to try and fix. We have Tora headphones, second set. We have a piece of the antenna off the roof that the wind blew apart is now cratered. Um, what else? He, he, uh, broke a plate. Broke a plate, getting a pizza crust. Um, uh, what else? Oh, you fixed the microwave. Yeah, I fixed the microwave. Tell the tell story about the microwave. So, Mom was at a friend's house the other day. She said, hey. She was mad at her microwave. Yeah, she was mad at her microwave. So, her husband told her to go get a new one. What was wrong with the microwave, son? The door wouldn't open. With the button. You had to kind of pry it open. So she was going to throw it away. And I said, RJ might want that. She goes, really? I said, oh, sure. He's always got a pocket knife. He can pop it open. She said, I said, it'd be good for his room. Because if you remember what, when we first got that microwave, you were upset for a while. We didn't have one, correct? Right. And so RJ is a microwave fanatic. You cannot have pizza rolls any other way but from the microwave, right? I can't cook or do anything any other way. So, anyway, I brought it home. And how long did it take you to fix the door? Uh, about 10 minutes. It took me longer to find the tools to do it than I actually did to do it. <laughs> so now you've got a microwave sitting on top of your little fridge, huh? Yep. Yep. So, my hair. Yep. So, anyway, um, so you fixed that, right? Yep. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Like Wilbur's over there playing Carl. Now, since his little mushroom thing, if I'm over here, he is at my feet. Um, he actually wants me to pick him up and hold him, and he's getting too big. Huh? I, I did it that night, but yeah, he's getting too big. I um, so, and Carl just looked at him. He's like, You're leaving, but he won't leave mom's feet. Anyway, so um, oh, another thing that we have chewed up is we have pencils. Anytime you leave a pencil, the problem is is that I'll set stuff on the um, table, and it's always been safe before. Well, they can get their feet up on the table and they can get anything and everything. So and those aren't popsicles; those are strawberry bars. Oh, big difference. Just I started to go there and get popsicle, the mom popsicles, but mm -hmm. then you go there straight. Um, so, anyway, alright, 
Anything else in mending fences? We do have to get out and actually mend some fences. What did the electric company do to our fence line? Thought uh, I'd hit some stuff taking out some trees. We can't stop them because the trees were on their side, but yeah, they don't <laughs> really regard our fence line very well, do they? Right. Wasn't very good to begin with in that spot. No. Well, we had redone the whole thing. It's brand new piece of wire all the way across there. They just took out the trees, and it is what it is. All right, so it's after many fences. You need our farm, right? Mm -hmm. I got okay. a popsicle. So, Wamego is coming up in January. And I'll be doing that. And then we've got some yarn that I have to spin for Lisbeth's channel. And I think that's really all we have as far as what we're working on yarn wise. <clears throat> I do have Big Bertha going with some blue fiber that was gifted to me. It's amazing to work with. And I'm actually. <coughs> okay, so. Who's Big Bertha? No, often no. Oh. Um. I had to replace one of the leather straps broke. So I had to replace it. So it's going to take me time to adjust it to make it work perfect. Big Birth is very touchy. And so I've been having fun. And I've actually gotten to where I can spin pretty good on her. Um, I'm getting better. So, because I've had to practice a lot. Oh, yes, I have to. Have to. It's not even I want to, is I have to. So I'm having a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> And it's kind of like a left-handed long draw. So, yep, it's fun. Uh, nothing else from the yarn farm, is there? Okay. Uh, what comes after in the yarn farm? On the porch. No, in the field. No. How long have we been doing this? Apparently not long enough. All right, so you mowed, right, down at the garden. We've got some boards growing. The goats get in there and... I can't keep them out of enough stuff to save my hide. So I'm going to get better things. Lighten some right. up. She's in the dog pen right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Again, she's in timeout. Our dish is just in there for two days. The first time we left her there, what, 12 hours, 13 hours? Wilbur's after case. And Carl is still at my feet. He won't get up and go play. If I'm sitting here, he has to be right here. So, um, we still have one section of hay to do, correct? Yep. But why aren't we doing anything? Why aren't you at Been work raining. today? Been raining. Yep, it's nice that it's raining. It really is. So, we need the rain. Needed the rain. I think we're out of drought conditions, though. So, that's a good thing, too. Correct? Mm -hmm. All right. In the farmhouse, what have you been up to? Oh, really? Well, you helped Carl, right? Yep. Took him to town one day. Um, what else have you been doing? Had a head cold. Yeah, I still got that. Yep. Carries around a booger ray. Mm -hmm. um, anything else? Going on? How's your roping going? Not very good. No. I spent two days with Durf. Mm -hmm. Correct. That took a lot of your roping time. Uh, took whiskey to a rodeo last night, didn't you? Yeah. Her first one? No, she went last Her second Sunday. one. Second one. So, second one. How's she doing? Good. Okay. And she went and doctored cow or calf or something up at Justin, didn't she? Yeah. So, she's, she's coming along, right? Uh -huh. All right. So... Anything else going on with you in the farmhouse? No. The fair's coming up. Yep, that's this week. Yep, and what are we doing? That new. Yep. Okay, so here's my thing. I've got. Let me just. Oh. Um, I'm going to take some soap again. I oh, know, all of it. And then I'm going to enter. You have to do it in sets of threes at our fair. I don't know why. It just is. So I'm going to enter three loofah gourds. Um, dried out. I don't even know what area to enter those in, but 
nobody's ever entered them before, so I'm going to be the first. How's that for you? Okay. Then I wrote a poem. You want to read this one too? Mm -mm. Oh, my glasses are really tiny. tiny. They've all seen heard this one. What do you mean they've heard this one? They heard the story, but nobody's heard the poem. But my popsicle's not stuck. Shut up. Read. Oh, uh, 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 Stop it. Is the mom of a cowboy's worst fear? The story she really doesn't want to hear. The normal run of the mill day of work that ended with her young cowboy getting hurt. Doctoring a bull was the order of the day, but nothing works out as easy as they said. The young cowboy and his uncle found the bull with a bum leg. They worked to lay him over, but for the last step, they had to beg. The bull was hurting and having none of it. It was hoping the cowboys would give up and quit. Both, both cowboys worked on through the Oklahoma heat, even though both horses and cowboys were dead on their feet. The young cowboy's horse and bull had been locked in a tug of war. The young cowboy wasn't sure his horse could even take much more. Then without notice, the rope gave slack, and the horse worked to recover and protect the young cowboy on his back. Both cowboys could see it happen so clear, but the young cowboy could do nothing as his horse starts to rear. The young cowboy held on as his horse fought for his footing, but the reins from the last night left the ground slick as pudding. The final rear up of the horse ended in a slip, and on top of the young cowboy the horse did flip. The young cowboy lay quiet on the ground as the horse hopped up and wandered around. The young cowboy had held on with all of his might, and the horse had put up one hell of a fight. As the horse came down, the young cowboy prayed, Still, Lord, don't let it be one of those days. The uncle had made it to the young cowboy's side, needing to know if he was able to ride. The young cowboy was alive and surprisingly awake. He would be bruised and sore, but fine, for goodness sake. So, right there. I know. I you gotta need to fix, fix it, it before the crash. So, um, there's an extra P in there or something. Anyway, that's my poem for the fair. So, you gotta fix it before the fair. Yes. And I've got these gourds, and then there was, I was gonna put in some soap, a lotion bar, and, um, some lip balm. Carl's playing there. Yep, no, he's at the point. Because once they get going, he's fine, but that's because he's helping Moose take Wilbur. <laughs> Carl's got Wilbur's table. <laughs> he knows his name, too. He knows we're talking about it. Anyway, so um, I've got that. Uh, I don't know if I'll do anything else. It's just whatever. I thought about putting in um, one of those rugs that I wove. But then we used them so they don't look picture perfect. Mm -hmm. And I hate saving stuff just for the fair. Um, if I'm going to make it, I want to use it. So um, it is what it is. If she makes something, she'll make it this week. Probably. Just don't know. Just don't know. Right? Uh, okay. Anything else in the Uh huh. Yep. I took it that motion. Oh, you know what that motion is. Okay, so anything else? Motion is granted. Podcast is over. Goodbye. No, now hang on. You got one thing in the farmhouse you haven't oh. mentioned. Who made top 20? Oh, that, that, you mean. Well, explain it too. Well, but if somebody doesn't end up going, tell them what'd you make the top 20? Uh, the ACRA Radio Association. Yep. So. And they only take 15 back for the fines. No. Yep. So if five people, well, I don't know, are you 18? Seven? I'm 20. You're number 20? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if five people end up not going, RJ will end up going to the finals. So if there's a conflict of rodeo schedules or somebody pulls out medically or, you know, it doesn't happen very often, but it could. Yeah. No. 
normally if anybody ends up going, it might be number 16. So, but same deal as last year. You just, it is what it is, right? Yeah. So. All right. Anything else on the porch? We are clean up the bar. Oh. I went to the dentist. The camp looked. Nope. Nope. Uh -uh. Dentists don't count. All right. Your dentist doesn't count. You're my nice. dentist is so cool. I love my dentist. No pain. Not even when they give you the shot. They're that gentle. There's no pain in even getting the shot to deaden the pain. I had my first root canal, and by that night I was eating. And then um, when they went back in and fitted the, they put a temporary crown on it. And then when they went back and put a the permanent crown on it, he asked me if I was having any trouble, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't. And I was eating, I've been eating. It, it hasn't affected me at all, has it? So, anyway, all right, anything else? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't put the links up last time. I have to help me remember to list this link up so that people can start going. And you have to be subscribed to her channel. Yeah, this All right, let's play cards, yeah. We're no, we've already done it. No. Here we go. All right, I'll do it again. One. Um, she's going to do a drawing, and I forgot to put the link, I think, and it just now dawned on me. A week later, it just now dawned on me. Yeah. All right, so five-card draw. Yep. All right, guys, look at your cards. I dealt you. <clears throat> a joker really game over and he's got a joker too you can't count the jokers no hang on a second game Did over podcast over <laughs> no. <laughs> all right that we're off of here Nobody have a card. great day we will talk to y'all later it bye guys joke. get it joker joke <laughs> That's a dad joke. You know how I know this? How? It's a parent. I'm not even a dad. <laughs> dad jokes are just called, they're bad jokes. They're like young uh, kid bad jokes. Uh, but did you get it? It's a parent? Yes. Dad is it. a parent? All right, let's try All right this is over with. We're done. Bye.